What's up, everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Kerbal Space Program. Uh, when we left off, we had tried using this Orbit Maker Mark V, and it did not achieve an orbit. Um, however, I have been told part of that might have been, which uh, it's very, very possible, uh, pilot error on my part as to when I burned and some of the maneuvers that I put, uh, pulled. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try it again one more time, or at least one more time. So the two things that I was told not to do is to not um, kill the engine during the gravity turn. Um, apparently that's not a good idea, and it does not benefit me. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this ship underway. Um, the other thing was I apparently burned very early in an effort to try and um, compensate and get the orbit to blow out further. Um, but from what I've been told, the only time you need to burn really far back like that is when you have um, a low thruster like that one that only does like 50 thrust or something. Um, that if they're actually, um, if they're actually decent in thrust, then kind of one of those. Why am I wobbling now? I don't remember doing that before. Hmm. Come on, no, don't go that way. Well, you know, we might as well. Maybe I'll do a left-handed gravity turn. That's that's a new one for me. quite done that before. Uh, no, that really wouldn't work very well, would it? Um, so, I'm gonna try... Let's go ahead and do our turn here, maybe? We're not up as high as I would like, but we'll keep the engine a little lower, because we're still gaining speed, so that'll be fine. Um, but what I was told is, once you get the uh, apoapsis up high enough, is to wait and burn closer to the apo. Um, which makes sense. Um, the reason I wasn't doing it is I was thinking of the fuel and everything is, let's go ahead and burn further back, but it's not as efficient. So, we want to get the altitude high enough. Now, my concern here is fuel, which it pretty much always is. Let's do a low apo. Instead of trying to go for like 100, let's just get to like 75 or 80. Gives us a little fluctuation if we decide to descend a little. There we go. Um, and now we'll turn. Let's quick save this. Ooh, a little too far. A little too far. Okay, we'll turn, we'll put it on the horizon, and let's speed it up here a little bit. And when we get up here, we'll just do a full burn. Oh, and you know what? I haven't done any of these science sample things, have I? Ooh, look at that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and burn this way now, and hope we have enough fuel to get it to come out. This is what concerns me, though. It's dropping so fast, and this isn't coming out fast enough. Come on. Oh, it's so close, though. Yeah, see, like, I don't have a parry yet. Mm. So close. All right. So let me work on some redesign work, and we'll see if we can't get one to actually succeed in an orbit. Okay, so I just did like three more flight tests, and it may be totally my fault, but I cannot make that model work. It got... The best I could do was I got it to like a 500 meter periapsis, but it just kept running out of fuel no matter what I tried. So we're going to do a little bit of a different approach this time. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and name this one the Mark VI. Um, and I've got a medium fuel tank and a small fuel tank with the little engine with a coupler on it. I'm going to focus a bit more on trying to stage it out more. Like this stage is for purely orbiting, like to, to get it from the Apo to the other, other way kind of thing. Actually, I'm wondering... 0.5... Eh, it's still better, I think. Um, okay, so let's do one of these. And I'm, I've got my information panel pulled up so we can look at the weight and everything. Now this one... This one doesn't have as much of a push. It's minus 15 thrust, but it has a gimbal to it, which is... I'm not sure if that's better or not. It's more expensive, so we're going to go with this one, because I haven't had too much problem with steering the thing. Okay, so we got coupler. Okay, all that's good. Uh, place a coupler there. That's going to be our gravity turn one, I think. Now we just need to do the initial get-go. So let's try... How much are these? These are almost four tons. Let's see if we can pull off... Actually, we might not even need those. If we were to do... It doesn't take into account the symmetry mode. Ah! It'd be just over. I hate that when it's like 0.3. It's like, really, guys? Why you gotta be like that? Alright, well, let's try this then. This might make it a bit more unstable. Uh, but let's try... And do something like that, maybe. I wonder if these would even be worth doing a bunch of these. Let's try that. <laughs> I don't know if that'll actually do anything. Uh, what this does do, though, is it gives us a bit more uh, leeway with... Mm, if those weren't in the way. Let's remove those for a second. Extend those. I don't really want these to be real high. I kind of just want them for balancing. And then maybe we'll put... Like that. Let's see if that will not only hold, but not fall over. I'm, I'm not real confident with how long this thing is, but hey, it's basic rockets, right? build them in a big tube and hope they don't fall over. Um, well, uh, that was different. Okay. Weird. Okay, don't fall over. Don't fall over. Pretty good. Weight's doing okay. We're gaining, not falling. Oh, and I also found out we can get some good science while we're flying here, too. I think it's seven from just the craft being in flight. Okay. I didn't actually check the price of this to see if it was cheaper or anything. Let's go this route. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful this might work a little better. I don't know how much of this I'll be able to recover, though. If any. That's good. We never got an overheating before, so we're going faster than we were. I'm thinking... I, that's a problem I noticed in the last design that I had, was that it might have been the two were firing at the same time, and we're not getting as much height um, because of it. 
So let's see where our Apo's at. Not very great. I was kind of hoping to be higher by this point. We may want to retract this stage and put another booster in here instead. That seems like it may have done more good that in, in that respect. I don't know if it's, it's not going to have enough. And I doubt this one will be able to push where we need it to or have enough fuel. I don't know. This might be a little surprising, actually. It's a little tiny... little tiny thing. Um, I think this is going to be one of those that if we can get it to this point, I may just go ahead and turn it, because I don't know... Let's just go ahead and rock this over and let it burn, because I don't know offhand how long it's going to take to blow this out. Well, actually, no. Let's, let's quick save it here. We can resume that if we decide to, but let's get a little bit closer, maybe like here. Oh, and I found that I haven't upgraded the uh, tracking enough that I don't have... Um, I don't actually have the ability to do... Uh, nodes. So we're we're flying by eyeball. Okay, that's not doing too bad. I want it to go a little bit more over though. Uh, let's kill that a minute. Let it get back a little closer to the Apo. I don't think it's going to make it, but it was an interesting idea. Because obviously the closer we can be to here when we burn, the better. Um, the trick is that you have to not fall, and that's what was happening to me a lot, was if I started burning when I got to the apoapsis, then it would just, like, it would fall to the planet before it would actually get um, up high enough. We seem to be having the opposite problem here, though. The Apo keeps moving, which is kind of good. Oh, it's so close. I don't know if it'll make it or not. Nope. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh... Oh! Perfect. 70 and 146. Now, this is both good and horribly bad. Um, good, because it worked, it was successful, and we're going to get a lot of science off of it. Bad, because I have absolutely no way of getting home. Uh, control from here, from here, crew report. <laughs> Very much in space. I guess we'll just save that if it's not going to give us anything. But we can EVA, which is new. EVA report. Take that. Oh, wait a minute. Get back in. <laughs> Don't float away. So, yeah, that's the problem now, is unless we actually... The problem here is we actually have a stable orbit. If this were unstable and this were decaying, we'd actually fall back to the planet eventually, and we'd be able to be rescued. Now, we did get almost 60 grand for that, plus the science and the rep, which is good. Um, our best pilot is kind of tied up at the moment, which is not good. So we have a couple options here. Um, one of which is, you know, we can revert the flight and see if we can get one uh, that doesn't involve crashing to the ground. Now, okay, here's here's something interesting, though. We have 73,000 to work with. 
Okay. So here's the thing. Here's what's been holding me back is the tarmac that we have only allows 18 tons. Which if we right click, see it's max vessel size 20 meters by 21 meters. Max vessel weight is 18. If we upgrade this, it goes up to 140. And they can be much larger. But it costs us 52. So I did that. So now we have a better... Um, you can see, I mean, it's very, it's visible. We have a better tarmac now, but we only have 20 grand to work with. Let me check the contract. I wonder if they gave me a contract for rescuing him now. I don't think they will. I think the rescue ones are, are different. Explore the moon. Uh... Perform visual surveys of Kerbin. Oops. Available. Okay. So we'll just grab the moon one since it never expires, and beyond that, we'll not wor worry about that right now. Um, we have 47 science. Ooh. Ooh, we have 47. Hello. I kind of want to grab this. Or these. But I'm almost thinking these because it gives us the strut connectors as well as the launch stabilizer. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Okay. So now we have more that we can work with. So now what we need to do is make a uh, rescuer. Or an orbit rescuer. Oops. Spelling. Mark 1. We're going to save this out. So we know this can achieve an orbit. Barely. But it can. However, now we can do 140 tons. We still can only have 30 parts, but that's okay. So we don't need these. They're a waste of parts. Um, we now have the strut connectors, which will help us stabilize things. Um... So, what I'm really thinking here, this ship costs us seven. Oh, I took the contract for the moon, so I have 47 now. That might be good or bad. We might have been better off saving that. Ugh, I don't know. We'll have, to, we'll have to find out. But if we were to make this a quad booster, right? and maybe even go as far as to do the same thing up here. Right? It adds about three grand. How's our parts looking? 23. Um, can we afford to stabilize these? I don't know that we can. Because that should be four more parts. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. So we're off by one part. Um, let's go ahead and strip these because we won't need the science. We've already got that. Oh. Ah. I just found a problem. We have nowhere for him to sit. Hmm. Well, now that's interesting. <laughs> um... Alright, so I think this would be more than enough to get us where we need to go. It might be too much, actually. Um, but I don't know. Here's a question I have. Can the Kerbins actually hold on to the command pod upon re-entry, or are they going to burn up and die? Because if they're going to burn up and die, we may have to leave him floating out there and use this one to go to the moon or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, let me know what you guys think as far as is that way, way too much overkill? Is this a good moonship type of thing? You know, stuff like that. Would this be better served trying to go to the moon? So on and so forth. Um, uh, and or a better option for recovering our pilot and so on. So let me know what you guys think 
in the comments. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!